I mean, we worked, um, we, we looked, maybe, do you re remember, Marilyn, we actually looked at uh, the right and when, when you were still in Prague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's this is like many years ago. And we were thinking what would be the next thing we could do. But since then we've, we've done so many other pieces. In a sense, it's it's more than anything else we've done before. Yeah. Right? It's like, like a big step up because yeah. of how earthy and f like fundamental it is kind of um, the, the, the deep kind of human thing that is common to all of us though it's it's a dark side of it that is revealed in in this piece yeah it's it's, it's really um, uh, it has to do with all of life huh? this mm -hmm. theme for, i was i was for for a long time drawn to this theme mm -hmm. there's a very mystic element in the in the sacra as a, in part one uh, it is it is the, the like the, the spring is coming back huh? there's always uh, this is the, 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 the the search that goes through nature, and well, then also in in, in um, yeah, the Greek le legends, we, we learn that there is some something sacrificed for that. Yeah, the, the, the the goddess of the spring goes to the underworld, and and then uh, uh, in the in the winter she is absent, and then uh, there is there is something. There is a combination of life and death in, in, mm -hmm. it, in, a, in a mystical way. And, so it's in part uh, two, uh, the, the girl has to dance herself to death, but is in, in a way chosen. So there's a, a, a holiness about her as well, but but uh, sadly, it only leads to her death. Yeah? And 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 but what she guarantees that the spring will continue, this 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 cycle of nature that 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 is uh, yeah going on as long as the earth evolves around the sun that you have the life coming back in, in the earth, um, the, the element of the, of, the, of the earth, of the soil, is also, um, uh, indeed what Adrian said, that, that the, the, the earth is awakening, and there is a, like the dance of the earth is like an explosion uh, of, of colors, and then we put sand over it also as a, as a yeah, mix of the life want to come out of the earth, and the earth also covering it, and in the, in the end it is, it is the girl jumps, and, and it's, it's also buried at the same time, mm. and and the, the the jumps are also like the the will of the of the spirit to survive to 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 over to to over over search the the, the, the material mm -hmm. to, to um, what is the word um, yeah <laughs> my English. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, we, we don't know why we do it right now, but perhaps for a reason that we, we might, might have been driven, driven to, <laughs> well, to do this. Yes, well, forces, we had uh, our own desire to do it, I think. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. a powerful thing. Yeah. For yeah. me, I, I want to play it. I it's, me too, yeah. It's like, <laughs> for a pianist, it's like... Um, <laughs> Hell of like, <laughs> you, you, don't you don't do it, I mean, yeah. you just shouldn't don't do it. it. It's too, too crazy. So, and that I have, I like challenging things. I always looked what's the next craziest thing I could do. <laughs> and so I think for you, it's also like the most challenging thing in this realm. I think so, yeah. Or maybe it doesn't feel like that anymore because we No, it has become part of us. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. now it's okay. <laughs> but hopefully it raises the roof for <laughs> those who come to yeah. experience it. But how did you decide to do two pieces this time? No, it's not two pieces. Yeah. It's it's a piece that consists of two uh, almost yeah. almost equal parts. Yeah, oh. yeah part and, one, part two. Part two. And, yeah. and the parts, both of them also have, because it's ballet, and mm -hmm. so when you look in the score you, you see uh, the titles, like how the different yeah. parts are named. And that reveals you a lot, like there's the story actually going on and how it should be danced. And both of these parts have similar elements in them, but one, the first one is kind of, you know, explosion towards light, but the other one is the reverse, it's like mm. destruction. And so it's actually a very um, fitting mm. piece to visualize, because there is the similarity, but also the, the contrast between the two that you can show. So. 
I think it's it's I mean originally when we decided oh let's do the right of spring we d we didn't know this yeah. we didn't we hadn't analyzed anything no, we just burn. felt that there's in the music is this something so earthy in itself and basic you know for and, us yeah also also missing something like that yeah. missing. Uh, mm -hmm. but now we see that actually it's, there is this symmetry beautiful symmetry visual visual symmetry yeah. Yeah, in it, the music but that came really also through our concept Sometimes your, your understanding grows by by finding concepts and and, and uh, um, uh, really the, 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 it's like opposites yeah? and and uh, we, we also decided now to do one black canvas and so this is still a white one but but um, uh, the um, yeah the, 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 that it was originally a, a, a ballet yeah? with, with, with uh, Nijinsky and mm -hmm. decors from Valeri. Um, uh, of course, I've, I've, I've studied that. Of course, that is part of the, of the research also, and and uh, it, it, it has um, balletic episodes, mm -hmm. yeah? um, um, both parts, and and um, somehow uh, we our idea was to um, um, to also like um, to to study that and, and to be inspired by it, but but also like make our own concept of it, mm -hmm. so that we also would be free to um, not follow exactly or or narratively um, mm -hmm. um, illustrate a, a ballet, eh? but but to to, to try to yeah. generalize the story and make it like more uh, yeah. fundamental or whatever you call uh, yeah, it. Yeah, to really to yeah. go in, into the, the deeper levels of of what what all these episodes are about. And and, uh, and then we came indeed on to the yeah the, the real the awakening yeah, the, the part mm -hmm. and and then the the then yeah like going to death I, there's no other way to say it it's it's quite um, the performance is also has uh, um, to my, my role in that is quite devastating so to say uh, I I must say that's uh, I I do feel it. It is. It is. You you have to feel it when you when you are in a state of uh, throwing paint. Mm -hmm. This is a very emotional thing to do, you know. Yeah, and and then and then with with fears. Huh? With uh, it's not like la 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 throwing paint, but it is really like like something that that includes pain huh? and and wish to survive and and and. Uh, um, yeah, I think that, that we all, as humans, we, we have this have a, an archive, have memories of things that happened. And, and as an actor, indeed, you go in a role, you identify with, like Brian said, but it is also that, that you stay a little bit out of it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you, you go a little bit, you know, in the emotion of it. And, and then also if you would really, if I would really go into that, I would drown. I would, and, and there will be no painting, or I would be crying in some of the audience, or you know, not that everybody needs to cry, but you know, it's you as the as the as the performer, or there is some part of of keeping your head cool. It mm -hmm. sounds terrible, and, and but it but it is it is uh, something that comes uh, also. The part is part of it, and, and and it's also you you survive a bit by that. Mm -hmm. You kind of observe what you are doing. Um, yeah, the the, the, the the emotion you are creating uh, and you are expressing is uh, built up of 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 actions that you know what you are doing and and things to do and this color and this moment and now comes B uh, that is and now we have A again. Vampira, vampira, and you know like. So that is sequences, and, and it is it is the, the 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 it helps me. It helps me to know where we are in, in music, and, and in the same way, the episodes from the original ballet they help me to memorize it. And, and sometimes, even uh, while we are working on this, I go back to the ballet and say, you know, what happened there? And uh, we see also we, we, we see everything that, that that has ever been done with the sacre, and and it was other ballets, modern ballets. And, and, and we last saw uh, uh, also a very recent uh, new, new uh, on a B 
beach was before. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we uh, this is all information for us. Mm -hmm. So when we need a new solution, something that doesn't work, mm -hmm. then uh, exactly as you say, we go back to the other sources that we have, all the sources available, and and seek for a solution that could solve the problem um, of not knowing, you know. So getting inspired, and I think we have this artistic license that we can jump from one source to another and, yeah. and gain whatever works yeah. uh, and mix together with our own concept and, and make it make it fitting and powerful. What actually happens in the ballet is that the, the it's it's like tribal, eh? it is primordial times outside of time and, and uh, um, uh, before the Christianity, before everything, eh? and and uh, the 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 figures that uh, the girls and the men dance, they they draw uh, figures in in the sand in the earth by their dances. You have the spring rounds and it goes all in round and then. You have some fights and and, uh, and then come running so and going and then you have this sage, you know, this 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 prophet coming in and uh, and uh, so the the, the the there is a very ritualistic element already in the choreography, huh? uh, um, and, um, and um, uh, I I don't intend to um, uh, purposely include uh, a dancing element <laughs> other other <laughs> other than that by. Uh, uh, this is an, again a motoric thing. I cannot, I cannot paint uh, the music when I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling it with my entire body, and mm -hmm. and, and so I also. Uh, it, it's not like like something happens and I no no no. No, I'm I'm really uh, physically uh, in this in this music, mm -hmm. and and if there comes a certain uh, um, rhythmical rhythmical movement of the body or of movements of this of my feet. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, that, that is that is natural. That's that's normal. I, if I would uh, either not do that or purposely try to make some choreography out of that, that that both would feel forced in a way. So that is my flow. That is my energy who, mm -hmm. who has to has to be there to make the brush have have uh, follow the music. But there is always a brush, nothing else. Oh, very good, yeah, no. <laughs> ah, we had this elephant and that came with uh, like scrapers. This is this plastic scraper and then you go, this is like a, a, like a plastic knife almost. Uh, it is used for, you know, for with houses, actually, with stuccadors, you know, with the, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? It's when you paint walls and, and so on and so on. And, and I, that, that is very sharp. And the, the, sometimes to make angles, very, very, you know, like sharp edges and angles, that, that works well. And, and now we include the scrapers uh, a lot in, the, in how we work. Um, you can also uh, combine layers, like you put one layer of paint, you put another one slightly next to it, you go with the scraper, you have both colors combined. So it is three, yeah, it works really well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now uh, now we included... But for certain music, right? For it's certain music, kind yeah. Of edgy, yeah. because of the edginess of the sign, yeah. the music must yeah. be edgy. And now you included also... Sand. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing of the sand, yeah. <laughs> But how do you came to this idea? How it? Yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, we also inform ourselves. So, for example, the work we are yeah. working on right now, um, we've watched so many different ways how people approach this this piece of music, and so as a ballet or oh, mainly as a danced piece. Um, but then the choreographies are really different and one of them had the whole floor covered with soil, black earth mm -hmm. and um, it's so powerful to say that these bodies come and then they just, you know, they kind of the dirt everywhere and that's part of the story 
it's not like out of the blue, let's just make conceptual something. No, it's it makes total sense. It's like coming out of the earth and returning back there as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then, yeah, just like symbolically, let's let's use that black earth from which life comes, but which also buries yeah. in the end. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you, you know, we, are we wouldn't do this with some Bach piece or Chopin, no, but no, this no. particular piece, Stravinsky's yeah. Rite of Spring, is yeah. it's just about that, so it makes sense to use yeah. it. The part of the sacrificial dance, it, it, it mesmerizes me. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it, because the, it's such a vital element. And at the same time, the, the, there, there is the presence of death, but there's also like the, the, the mystic enhancement of that death as, as being the chosen one, and uh, as being the one who continues nature to... to renew itself, so the, the, the birth, death, renewal uh, um, is, is, is a, the, the, she, she, that the sacrifice is that because of her death the nature will re renew itself, the guarantee of that, and every year again. So you actually do believe that, and so you will reenact that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So we have to put a sign that the performance is 18 plus because it might end up badly, right? So you never oh, know. Please, I know. <laughs> no, 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 Actually, the, the fact that there is death gives our life meaning, and also and the fact that 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 um, um, we we have the feeling that we we maybe there wouldn't be art, maybe we we, we want to pass something on for the next generations. We 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 want to have a witness of our lives. Um, uh, it, it, my artworks are, are my legacy. If I'm, mm -hmm. if I'm not there anymore, then, then they will go on to the future. Yeah? And, and uh, it's, it's, um, we, we have been talking about door moments a lot uh, in the music. Sometimes because of these episodes, maybe you can, sometimes you can hear uh, what is like the, the, the closure of one episode and the start of the, of the next. And uh, in our lives we also have door moments. And, and uh, we, we kind of move from from one phase into the other, and the the fact what, of working on the sucker uh, really for me was was a, a way of uh, letting go of something and passing on, also for myself, maybe also in the liberating things of of of, of that I had to show uh, a, a, a pain or a, or a devastation or. Um, uh, and then, um, with that, it is also like objectified, and and, mm. and you can grow to a, to another to another moment in your life. Yeah.